Tony with simplysimplestamping.com. Thank you for stopping by for a Make It in Minutes video. Guys, I am loving creating some really great fast and easy Christmas cards for you. This one has some really great shimmer because, you know, Christmas, we got to have some glitter, right? And this one is so easy. Look, we've even got a little punched image on the inside. Guys, minimal, minimal supplies. And we were able to create this really great Christmas card. So let me show you how to do it. It's all about minimal supplies. And this card is no exception. Let me show you what we're going to be using to create our card. My card base is in Knight of Navy. I have that cut at eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter, so that when you're ready to mail it, it can go into a medium sized envelope. I have two pieces of Whisper White that are cut three and a three and three quarters by five inch because one of these, just so you know, one of them is going to be going there on the inside of the card. I also have another piece of Whisper White that's one inch by four. That's for our sentiment. And then this fabulous Silver Glimmer is a two and a half by three inch piece. I'm going to be using the Peaceful Pine stamp set for today's card. Guys, love this set, but don't let these small images fool you because they're actually quite large. There's just a lot in the package because this is a 17-piece set. Really fabulous one. We're going to also be using um, the Perfect Pines framelits that you can purchase separately. Really great 11-piece framelit set. Guys, we're going to be using this medium Christmas tree, and then we're also going to be using the star. All right, let's go ahead and take one of our pieces of Whisper White, and I'm gonna put that Christmas tree, I probably got myself about three quarters of an inch from the top. I'm also going to come in with the Silver Glimmer, and then I'm gonna take that little star and I'm gonna get it way down here in a corner, and that way we can kind of run both those through at the same time. Let's run this through the Big Shot. All right, there's our tree. Let's hold on to that for a second. And there's my star. We can set that off to the side. Now we're going to do one more piece of big shot work, and that is using the softly falling embossing folder. Oh, this is just one of my favorites. And you know what? It's not just snowflakes. I'll tell you what, I use it for a lot of things. So I'm going to put uh, my cardstock here all the way over to the left and then I'm going to take my Christmas tree and you notice I'm kind of bringing it down because um the way this embossing folder works it's kind of gradual and I don't want that to be too heavy um, with the snowflakes. All right do you see that great texture that we got on both of those? I'm going to set my tree the punched one off to the side because we're ready to work with this one. Let's go ahead and bring in our card base. I'm going to add about um Oh, what is that? Six, seven, eight dimensionals on the back of this. Again, there's just something about some really great pop. You know what? I started to peel those off. Don't do that. Don't do that yet. We have got to set our glimmer paper first. So let me show you what we're going to do. Now, you notice we have that punch star. So I want that punch star to come up here at the top. And so what I'm going to do, let me just flip this over. I'm going to add some adhesive to the back of my uh, glimmer paper. And it's so simple. I'm really just going to hold it there in place. I'm just making sure that um, everything's going to set right where it needs to. Um, oh, I wish I hadn't peeled off those backings. Don't do it. Connie does whatever you do. All right, let's go ahead and make sure we've got that set. All right. Oh, I'm just going to gently peel that away. Woo. Okay, not straight, but you know what? It really doesn't matter because as long as we get that um, on there and it doesn't show through the trees, we're good. Let's peel off all these backings now. No, you can really do it now. For real, you can. All right. And now we can really add that on there. See, very, very nice. And we don't have to worry about that little star. It's not going to show. Let's put a sentiment on this card. For our sentiment, we're actually going to use the triple banner punch. Now, this is my little one inch by four inch piece of cardstock. I love using the triple banner punch because I don't have to worry about getting those um, little corners and banners and all getting it punched just right every time. So I love that. I'm gonna come in with a Knight of Navy ink pad and I'm gonna be using the May the Peace of Christmas Be Yours This Season and Throughout the Coming Year. Let's stamp that right in the center. Of course, that's so easy to do with the photopolymer stamps because you can see right where they're gonna go. We'll add a couple dimensionals to the back of our banner. Put this right here on our card, very easy. Now let's go ahead and work on the inside of the card. So I'm gonna bring back, um, bring in my last piece of the Whisper White cardstock, but let's do a little stamping before we adhere that. So we have got another sentiment, wishing you a season of wonderful moments and warm memories. Let's stamp that right here up at the top. And then there's this adorable little snowflake that's just gonna kind of fill in so let's add a few of those. 
we can now adhere that to the center of the inside of our card. And remember that tree we cut out? Well, it's going to make a great focal image to my card right there. One last little thing. I thought this needed a little bit of splash of color. So I have got some of our baker's twine and I'm going to show you how to make a really quick bow. So simple. You're just going to make a loop. You're going to make a loop and you're going to tie these loops together just like get in there. Ugh, there we go. So <laughs> I'm going to take a mini glue dot and I'm actually going to kind of roll it into a little tiny ball. Let's just put that right there on our card. I can now add my bow right there up at the top, making sure the reason I kind of put that into a ball is I didn't want any of it sticking out. So I want to make sure I kind of flatten down my bow. There we go. Now, how about that star? Again, we've got those mini glue dots out. Let's press down the star, add it to the top. Guys, that is a card made in minutes. I'm telling you what, it is so, so easy to create Christmas cards in a matter of minutes. And we love that, especially when we have a lot of Christmas cards to make. So I hope that you guys are enjoying all these great Christmas cards on the Make It in Minutes. But if you'd like to make today's card or you wanna see some more information, maybe you need the measurements again, you can simply go to simplysimplestamping.com. If you will look for the October 20th, 2016 blog post, you're going to see today's card, everything that you need. And if you want to order perhaps that bundle um, or the card stock that you need, not a problem. Just click a pick. You're going to go right to the online store, order what you need. You're going to be ready to go whipping out those Christmas cards in a matter of minutes. Right, guys? Well, thank you so much for being a part of the video today. I hope you love the card. Thank you guys for being here. We'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>